All right, good afternoon all. This video here is for anyone that is in the process or, or thinking about doing a swap on their uh, 88 through 95, I believe is what this will cover, um, TBI to carburetor swap. I had a major problem with my manifolds heating up and having some lean condition going on, so I removed everything and went with a carburetor. I went online and found a couple of references, uh, specifically this guy Andrew Haley and another guy Paul Reagan, where I got some of my information, but the other stuff I had to crew on my own and just figured maybe I'll sh maybe can save someone a step or two if they show them uh, what I've done and... Uh, what I did to get to this stage. Um, first off, I used the stock uh, fuel pump, and what I had to do was, as you can see, I put a fuel regulator in, and I was able to use the existing fuel lines. What I did was I took the, the feed line and ran it to the left-hand side, return in the center, and my feed for the carburetor I left on the other side. I put it on the firewall like that. I find the Holly one to be the best for this application using less room. And I, as you see, I put my gauge on the regulator. I want to put it in line eventually, but that worked for me right now. I used a wind intake that was for these Gen 1 heads. I didn't go with the Pro Comp uh, one because I didn't like the idea of the uh, those little spacers and stuff. I bought a set of manifold uh, um, bolts for it, but I'll compile a whole list if someone wants. Anyways, I used a 600 carburetor. I have the 4L80 transmission, so I went and bought the the, the bracket for the for the 700R. If you guys have it, I didn't have it, so I didn't need it. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is basically it. And, um, yeah, I used the Holly 600, and I also did, because I am running the automatic transmission, I had to use the TPS switch, which Holly sells a bracket and stuff. I have all that information. I used the factory HEI ignition system uh, from an earlier General Motors, and I did run the vacuum uh, advance. I did find I had to turn the timer back maybe to just about... Uh, two before or something like that to not get it to ping but I saved all the wires I didn't cut them out and uh, what else did I do here and I just um, yeah my heater hose because the wind comes up front here I just bought some fittings at a local irrigation place that's what I found to be the best because I searched high and low and you see I got the 45 here in the back that's how I'm running my power booster I know I had people had questions about that, and I just used the factory setup, and you see, I used the factory hose. I just cut it and made my own line and stuff. Like I said, I can explain all that too later if you want. Used the bracket from Holly for my accelerator. Um, let's see. Yeah, like I said, the heater hose. Let's see, what else was a little issue? PCV, that was no problem. But yeah, so that's basically it, and if uh, anybody has any questions, I'd be... Uh, more than happy to answer them. And, uh, oh yeah, as far as wiring up the factory HEI, there was, I had a separate coil. I just used the coil wire because it comes on with the ignition to fire it up and it ran into the bat. And what I found out too is I didn't have to run a separate wire for my, my fuel pump. I happened to turn my key on when I was testing my system and, and my, my pump lit up without me doing any wiring at all. So um, I would say first check that before going ahead and cutting into that four plug harness like everyone's saying. I'm sure that is. So I didn't have to run a separate wire to fire up my fuel pump. So I don't know if that helps anybody. But uh, I'm trying to think of any other things that I ran into. And uh, no, that's it. You know, I used most of the factory setup. And, um, yeah, because I actually was able to use the, the original breather. I had the bre the the tube, I mean, the, the uh, flange that went around the original TBI, and I plugged it in there, but I found my choke was binding on it. So you guys, you know, I had a couple of cold startups that I had a hard time, and I was like, that was in the way. So I got rid of it and haven't had a hard time with my cold starts at all. Everything's running mint. But anyways, yeah, any questions, hit me up. I'd be more than happy to share whatever information that I 
came across. And like I said, I compiled an entire list of everything I used, and I'd be more than happy to pass that on too. All right. Well, good luck, and once again, thanks Andrew Haley and Paul Reagan for the information that got me started. And uh, like I said, best of luck to all you guys, and yeah, get rid of that TBI bull crapper. The freaking carburetor is the way to go, guys, especially on this application. All right, man. Best of luck.